Hey fam, it's the Southern Girl Shantae Levent, and today's video is the unadulterated truth about incoming and outgoing design trends. You want answers? I think I'm entitled. You want answers? I want the truth! You can't handle the truth! So if you can't handle the truth, I need you to go ahead and stop watching this video right now. Just cut it off. But if you think you can handle the truth, then you'll be attending my class today and I will be educating you on the truth about design trends. Mm-hmm. But the best thing about my class, nobody fails. Everybody gets an A. Everybody, you get an A, you get an A. Everybody gets an A. It's like an open book test. And if you fail an open book test, but I'm not gonna let you fail an open book test. So if you're ready, let's get started. If you can understand this concept, then you can pretty much stop watching the video. This is time and this is design. Time will always date design. I don't care how new it is, eventually it will all be dated. And y'all, that's for every industry that is commerce driven. Whether it's interiors for the home, clothes, automobiles, whatever. If it is commerce driven, that means dollars, money, dinero, all of that. They're going to change it. And what do they say about new cars? As soon as you drive a new car off the lot, it has lost value. And the automobile industry changes cars, what, every four to five years? It's the same thing with design. As soon as it is available to the masses, that's us, that's me, that's you, manufacturers are making items because of the popularity. So it works like this. I go out and I report on the design trends of what's happening for this year. But by the time it is readily available, it's going to be really four to five years before people really catch on and take a hold of that particular trend. I've done an interior design trends video in 2015, 16, 17. I was off the tube in 18 and 19. I came back and I did one in 20 and 21. And if you go back and look at my video from 2017, I'm going to link it right here. You will see some of the things that I was talking about you are seeing now in mass in the stores and that was about four years ago so y'all i had to come in and do this video because i have received so many comments on the 10 outgoing design trends y'all y'all are so funny let me tell you how so funny sometimes i had to share that stuff with my mama my sister my bestie but the design industry knows us as the consumer if we get things that we love and that are of good value we won't get rid of them how many of us can say that you have gone over to a grandmother's house, a mama's house, a great aunt's house, or somebody's house, and their house has not changed in 30 years, maybe even 40 years? It's been so long that the stuff that they had in their house that was out of style is now back in style. What goes around comes around, and in my old interior design videos, I did focus up on letting people know that this style that we're seeing now has been around before. Let me give you an industry that I got some issues with because they changed their game up. It's the mattress industry. And I know it's people out there that can relate to this. Years ago, they used to make mattresses that was flippable. And by you flipping your mattress, you had an opportunity to really lay in four different spots. But the problem was that nobody was getting rid of their mattresses. People was keeping their mattresses longer because you get an opportunity to flip them. It was a commercial that came out some years ago that said if it's over eight, you must replace or something like that. People still wasn't replacing their mattresses. And then they tried to do some scare tactics. Well, if your mattress is old, then you got tons of dead skin cells. You got all these issues with your mattress. And I was like, if it's your skin and it's your mattress. But people, you should have a mattress pad and sheets on your bed anyway. Scare tactics didn't work. So they decided, hey. We just gonna make it one-sided. We gonna give them all this pillow top and we gonna make it where they can never ever flip a mattress again. So now you only have an opportunity to rotate your mattress. And we are creatures of habit. I don't care if you get into a position that you like on your bed, you gonna continue to sleep in that same position. And given enough time, Anything that is made of a foam, some type of foam material, whether it's on a mattress or a sofa, over time, it will break down. And they know this. Since mattresses are not as quick of a consumable item, they have pigeonholed us 
and they are forcing us to spend money. That's what design trends do. Example, I remember years ago when Fixer Upper first came out and it used to come on real late. One night I caught that show. After I watched it, I thought, this is a really good show. Now the design style that she was doing was not particularly my style, but I appreciated what they did. But as they gained popularity, that style began to grow because they started, we started seeing it on TV all the time. The industry is like, well, hey, this is pretty popular. Let's go ahead and start mass producing these items. They started mass producing this trend farmhouse. Now, let's talk about this farmhouse. So if you love farmhouse, then you love farmhouse. You have people who are on this trend. I'm from the South. I have been on farms before. But they don't even know what a chicken look like, a pig, nothing. But they whole house is done up in farmhouse. Smack dead in the middle of the city and your house is decorated like farmhouse. Hold up, because I don't want you to think I'm beating you up about farmhouse. But I'm just letting you know that time will date design. Now, that show was, what, six or seven years old? And in the stores, I had a conversation with my niece. She's my favorite niece. I only have one, so she's my favorite. She is a millennial, and she called me because she was looking for some things to decorate her house. And she said, TT, she calls me TT. She said, TT, only thing that I can find is farmhouse stuff. I said, don't worry, it'll be gone in a little bit. I know I'm breaking some hearts right now. Farmhouse is a design trend. The next evolution from farmhouse, hear what I'm saying, is going to be boho, Scandinavian, and that Midwest minimalist design. Not Southwestern, but Midwest. And you're going to see a lot of these items starting to come into the stores because it's gaining popularity. Now, if you are already doing farmhouse, you'll probably be able to make a transition from that if you wanted to, to follow the trends. But farmhouse, time will date design. So on to another trend. I got to talk about it, y'all. I got to talk about it. Another trend that is truly going to be dated by time is glam. I said it. Yeah, I said it. And all y'all that just fainted and fell on the floor, get back up off the floor, get back in your seat, and just hear me out. I, myself, like a little bit of glam. I do. I like a little bit of sparkle here and there. But if your house is mirrors from front to back, silver glitter, over the top, flowers that sparkle. I'm going to tell you, I ain't, I've never seen a flower grow out the ground with sparkles on it. If you can tell me where that one is, where the flowers got all this glitter gold sparkles on it, let me know. Let me know. Because you own to something. I'm not beating you up about glam design. Let's hear this. Let me hold on for y'all go in. For y'all, I know y'all going to go in. Because remember, we're in class. Nobody's going to fail today. I told you that this is the truth about incoming and outgoing design trends. So, glam. Time will date design. If your house is glam from front to back, stop it. I'm telling you stop it right now. I'm telling you stop it. But, if you absolutely love it, and that is who you are, don't get off the bandwagon. Because if that's who you are, don't do it. I had a viewer to say, what about gold? And I was like, you asking the wrong person about gold. Because I love gold. I have always loved gold, and I've loved gold since I was a child. And I have always had gold accents in my house, no matter when it was in or when it was out. I did a post on my Instagram page, probably, I know one was back in 14, and then I probably did one in 15. I know one in 15, and I'll post it right here, because you can't fake a timestamp. They had put out a picture of a gold faucet. Understand this, gold has never left the scene completely. It was just not popular. When chrome and brushed nickel and maybe the black finishes were trending, gold was kind of in the background. Because it has its phases too. All metals have their time in the limelight. And I posted on my Instagram page, am I the only one that never stopped loving gold? I put my gold fanfare jersey on and I kept it on because that's who I am and I know what I like and I know what I love. Now... Because gold is very popular, you're seeing it everywhere. The accessibility is available now because manufacturers know it's popular. 
But back in the day, when everybody was giving away all their brass pieces and giving everything up, oh my God, I could go to the thrift store and I could find a plethora of brass items. Y'all, and I found some good stuff. All this stuff that y'all was giving away, trust me, I scooped a many of beautiful things up. My thoughts on gold. My thoughts on any metal. Mix it. But have the one that you love be the more dominant one. If you're a chrome person or a brush nickel or a black and whatever is trending, and if you want to keep your home in keeping with the trends, then incorporate a little bit of the other metal into your house. That's how you can solve that. But stay true to who you are. The deal is, and understand this, is that things come in style and then go out of style. Things are up to date, things are out of date. And y'all want to know something else that can get out of date? Lean in for this one. People. Yes, I said it. We can become out of date. So I was talking to my favorite niece and we both saw this video where this young lady had painted a line down the center of her face. And she did her makeup back for 2016 and she did a makeup version for 2021. The caption stated, what year are you? And it got me to thinking, you know what? Not only can interior design become dated or look dated, people can too. We get into a time in our life, in our mindset, nobody could tell you that you was not looking good when you walked out the house. But what happens lots of times, not all the time with people, is we get stuck in that area of time when we really felt good about ourselves. Which leads me back to my closet. I bet y'all say on every video I talk about this closet, but I'm proud of my closet. I am, I am proud of my closet and the work that I did in the, to get that closet together because it was atrocious. It was terrible, it was bad. Y'all told you it was giving me the blues. Y'all can watch another video, check this one out. As I was going through my clothes, I used to shop at this store called Cache. And I know maybe some of my ladies, no, I don't know if it was just a South Eastern thing or if it was nationwide but I absolutely love that store but they went out of business their clothes wasn't low end they wasn't super high end but they was kind of in the middle and I had bought dresses out of there I loved how they fit my body they would have gold accents really my speed as I was going through my closet how I looked in those clothes in years past in my 30s I tried them on and I didn't feel the same way about those particular clothes that I did when I first bought them. Thought about how much money I had spent on them, the investment that I had put into them. I made it up in my mind that I am no longer there, I'm here. And I decided to give a ton of things away. I know that giving things away, they can go on to better serve someone else instead of just holding a place in my closet because I didn't have no room, no way. She was kind of cracking on me because she said, yeah, TT, I remember when you had them high-waisted jeans, high-waisted baggy acid-washed jeans that nobody could tell you. And y'all, I tried my best to look for the picture, but I couldn't find it, but I got some pictures I'm gonna show y'all. My niece is a licensed esthetician, and she said that women's eyebrows have gone through a revolution. She stated that you can look at a picture of a woman and based on her eyebrows, you can tell what year, what decade it is. I was, I was rolling. I keep my eyebrows in my makeup bag, so. And I pull them out when I need them. I am the messenger. I'm the messenger. This is what my niece said. That she has seen it all. And all the girls or women that are wearing these fluffy eyelashes that look like they're going to fly away or should be standing beside Snuffleupagus. I don't know if y'all know who Snuffleupagus is. He on Sesame Street. She said they just need to stop. I didn't say it, but I'm a co-sign on that one. I am. I'm co-sign on that. If you look like you about to fly away with the eyelashes and all that, just stop it. It's 2021. We as people, we can become outdated too. Because time will date our design. So you're probably saying, well, Southern Girl, every year you putting out a dog on interior design trends video. Why are you putting out a video every year? One, because I like to see what innovations have been made or what designs have been recycled. Because pretty much it's a recycle of many things. So how do we combat incoming and outgoing design trends? If you're a person who loves the trends and you like changing and you like spending money, then stay on board. Just follow the trends because some people like change. My next thing that I would say about the incoming and outgoing design trends is buy timeless pieces. And people always say, well, what's a timeless piece? 
buy good upholstery goods make sure you spend money on rugs make sure that you are spending money on solid wood pieces and i'm gonna do a couple of videos i got a few videos coming out one saying how to purchase a good sofa sofa placement i think i have i was working on 10 furniture tips and I think I'm going to do some videos to help beginners, to help you not go down the road of mistakes that I have made over my design life and career. Hopefully that will help. The other thing that you can do when it comes to incoming and outgoing design trends is if you want your house to kind of still stay current, Purchase a few things, small things that you can change out. For example, pillows are a good item. Maybe get an accent chair that's in one of the new popping colors or even changing out light fixtures. It's a minimum cost, but changing out light fixtures sometimes definitely can update your interior so that it looks still current with what's happening and you don't have to change every single thing in your house. Because the name of the game is get your money. Good quality furniture is not disposable. Another thing that I would say about incoming and outgoing design trends is really truly buy what you love. Stop all that impulse buying. Stop it. I already told y'all, Pinterest done made me do a lot of things. I, I be, and y'all, oh Lord, I've been on Amazon. Oh my God, Amazon. What's the man name that's over Amazon? Beezer. I don't order so much stuff from Amazon, y'all. He gon' he come he said he coming to my house to shake my hand. <laughs> Cause I done ordered so much from Amazon. And a story or something to show y'all the stuff that I ordered. Cause I'm redoing my living room. I got some things going on. I talked to my upholsterer and I got some chairs that my mama gave me. Me that she got from her friend, y'all. They are an art deco. Oh, Art Deco chair that I have never seen a chair like this before. They are absolutely beautiful. And I know what fabric I'm going to put on them. I just can't wait till all that stuff is done. And y'all know I'm going to share all of that with y'all. So class, those are a few tips and just some insider truth on design trends. Well class, it is now time for the pop quiz. What will date design? That's right. Absolutely. Say it one more time. What will date design? Time. So all of the things that are coming out in 2021 right now. When we look back at it in 2031, we're going to be saying, what were we thinking about? So that is it for class. I hope that you learned something today. And remember, everybody got an A. Nobody failed. In the end, I always say do what you love. And let me, let me say this. These, millenn these little millennials, I almost feel a little sorry for them because I was talking to one of my friends about photo albums. Everybody has pictures on their phone. They got that stuff all up in the cloud. You'll be hard-pressed to really find people that are younger that actually have hard photos. I thought that I would pull out a couple of photos so we can see how time has dated design. This first photo is a picture of my great-grandmother and the little girl that's standing beside her is my mother. You can tell they was at church. They was in church. Then I have a picture of my mother and her two brothers and based on their attire, pretty sure you can guess what year this is. My mama got the bell bottoms on. You couldn't tell her nothing. The next picture is a picture of my mama and my sister and based on what they have on you can pretty much tell what year it is and my mama is sitting in a rattan chair i reported that rattan is coming back mm, y'all this picture is 1986. i told y'all the 80s was back Whew, the next picture is a picture of me a couple of pictures of me we done went from them 80s, and now I'm showing some pictures of me in the 90s. Look at them eyebrows. Mm-hmm. You see them eyebrows? <laughs> Y'all don't be talking about my next picture. I straight up look like I'm a video, a 1990s video girl in this picture. What was I thinking? Mm-mm-mm. Those was the 90s. And I don't know what was up with that plaid dress and that hairdo. I, I, I don't. This next picture, end of the 90s going into 2000s. Man, I was skinny. And the last picture is a picture of my grandmother, my mother, and that is me 
going across my grandmother's yard. But look at the car in the background. I always say something to the new people first. It's kind of like when you get with a company, like you get with a cable company, and they swoon you, and they be all sweet to you when you first come in, and then they forget about you and always give all the new stuff to the new people. So today, I'm going to thank my existing fam first. Thank y'all so much for returning for another video. I want to say to anyone that is new to my channel, welcome. If you are not subscribed to my channel and you have watched this video up until this point, you might as well go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Like, psh, 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 psh. Also, make sure to click the notification bell. Ding! And that'll let you know every time I upload a new video. And y'all, I have been uploading pretty regularly. I just want to let y'all know I'm trying to stay on a good regular schedule because I love interacting with y'all. I just want to say this about the comments. I am going to eventually respond to you but it is a lot of comments coming in and they're not just coming in from this one video they're coming in from all of the videos i want y'all to know that i do read all of your comments but just know if i have not answered you back and you left a comment on a previous video we're gonna have our time together you can also connect with me on instagram or facebook because I know people are on different platforms, but I am really trying to start posting things that I'm posting over there. I'm trying to make sure I put it over in the community posts on YouTube. So check out my community post. And if you like this video, you can always give it a thumbs up. Of course, leave any questions or comments down below. And y'all know in the time that we live in, everything is shareable. So you can share this video too. And as always, thank you for spending some time with me today. And until the next video,